How to identify orthogonal circles? Two circles intersecting each other at 90 degrees are said to be orthogonal circles. To have a better understanding of the concept, let's first comprehend the meaning of angle between two circles. The angle between two intersecting circles is the angle between the tangent lines drawn at their point of intersection. Please note that the angle between these tangent is supplementary to the angle between the normals at the point of intersection. That is, angle between tangents is equal to 180 degrees minus angle between normals. For example, if we consider the scenario where two tangents merge to form one common tangent, making the angle of separation between them to be zero, we can eventually obtain two circles externally touching each other. Here, we can see that the normals perpendicular to the common tangents have 180 degrees in between them or are supplementary to the angle between the common tangent. Now, let us understand the concept of orthogonality of two intersecting circles. Two circles are said to be orthogonal if they intersect each other orthogonally. That is, the angle between the curves at the point of intersection is 90 degrees or the angle between their tangents at that point is 90 degrees. So, the angle between corresponding normals should be 180 minus 90, that is 90 degrees which means the normals of the two circles are also perpendicular to each other. Let the equation of the two circles be S1 equal to x squared plus y squared plus 2g 1x plus 2f 1y plus c1 equal to 0 and S2 equal to x squared plus y squared plus 2g 2x plus 2f2 y plus c2 equals to 0 where minus g 1 comma minus f1 and minus g 2 comma minus f2 are the respective centers a and b of the circles s1 and s2 also square root g 1 square plus f 1 square minus c 1 equal to r 1 is the radius of circle S1 and square root G 2 squared plus F2 squared minus C2 equal to R2 is the radius of circle S2. Let the two circles intersect each other orthogonally at the point P so their normals are also orthogonal to each other. From the diagram it is evident that triangle PAB is the right angle triangle. Hence, using Pythagoras' theorem, we have PA squared plus PB squared equal to AB squared. From the diagram, we can see that PA is equal to R1, PB is equal to R2, and AB is the distance between the two centers, where AB is equal to square root of minus G2 plus G1 squared plus minus F2 plus F1 squared. Therefore, putting the respective values we get G1 squared plus F1 squared minus C1 plus G2 squared plus F2 squared minus C2 is equal to minus G2 plus G1 whole squared plus minus F2 plus F1 whole squared. After simplification we get 2 times G1, G2 plus 2 times F1, F2 is equal to C1 plus C2. This equation is the required condition for two intersecting circles be orthogonal. Let us solve a question on this newly learned concept. Question. A circle S passes through the point 0 comma 1 and is orthogonal to the circles X minus 1 whole squared plus Y squared equal to 16 and x squared plus y squared equal to 1. Then, the options are a. Radius of s is 8 b. Radius of s is 7 c. Center of s is minus 7, 1 and d. Center of s is minus 8, 1. 
This question was asked in IIT JEE Advanced 2014 exam. Solution From the point it is evident that we need to find the equation of the circle S. Let us call the two given circles S1 and S2 where S1 is the circle with center at 1 comma 0 and radius 4 and S2 is the other circle with center at origin and radius 1. Here we are asked to find the equation of a third circle S equal to 0 which is orthogonal to the two given circles and also passes through 0 comma 1. Let us assume the equation of circle S as x squared plus y squared plus 2g x plus 2fy plus c equal to 0. Here we have three unknowns, so we need three equations to solve the circle. Since the circle passes through 0 comma 1, so the point should satisfy S equal to 0. That is, 1 plus 2 f plus c equal to 0. Let's call this equation 1. Since s and s1 are orthogonal, so applying the conditions for orthogonality, we get 2g into minus 1 is equal to c minus 15. Let's call this equation 2. Similarly, s and s2 are orthogonal. By applying the condition of orthogonality, we get c equal to 1. This is our third equation. Solving the three simultaneous equations we get g equal to 7 and f equal to minus 1. Hence, the center of the circle that is minus g minus f is equal to minus 7 comma 1. The radius that is root of g squared plus f squared minus c is equal to 7. Hence, Option B and C are correct. Please like, share and comment on the video and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. For more interesting and educational videos to earn while you learn, download Extra Class app from Google Play Store and get rewarded for studying.